This video is going to be about obtaining and upgrading gems free to play in Diablo Immortal. Now whether you're a new player or you've been playing Diablo Immortal since it came out, I think this video can help you out. The main thing you probably need to know if you're free to play is that it's better to upgrade a lower, say, two-star gem, for example, than to upgrade a higher star. Like, say, uh, Zwinson's Harton, for example, this is a three-star. You're much better off trying to upgrade a two-star than a three-star because it's less gems required to upgrade it so it makes it easier to upgrade so in the long run you're getting a better benefit from the two star than the three star even going with one star if you're free to play as you can see i have a rank eight for courses invigoration a rank one gym is easier to upgrade than a two star and a three star or four star etc so the first thing i want to explain to y'all is how you obtain the gym because that's that's the first step is getting the gym so the way you obtain the gems is of course going to do the elder rift now in order to do the Elder Rift and get gems from it, you are going to need to come to the Hills Trader. The Hills Trader, you come here and you buy Rare Crest from. If you're free to play, I highly recommend you getting your, your Rare Crest every day daily. You have two here, and on the limited time, you have one. Buy them every day because it's going to be the only way you're able to upgrade gems free to play. But as y'all can see, I did buy my Rare Crest. Now, after you get the Rare Crest, like I said, what you're going to want to do is come to the Elder Rift, and you're going to want to run a Rift. Uh, you run your Rift with your Rare Crest, and you do have a chance of getting a one-star gem to drop, which could be used either to upgrade to make better or could use as an upgrade. Now, this is going to be a free upgrade, so in my opinion, this is a must-have and a must-do, simply because you can keep on building up your uh gems in order to upgrade your other gems the thing is once you complete the elder rift with your rare crest and you get runes to drop uh you come over here this, to this guy selling and with the fading embers you get to drop you're actually able to convert them into fire runes now these fire runes are used you could go to the jeweler and actually get um elder crest and with those elder crest you're actually able to go run elder rifts and this is free to play you're able to use them in the elder rift and hopefully you get a good star gem for upgrades uh, but also you'll be getting these these runes from doing them as well And once you get these runes what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come over here to the apprentice jeweler Now if you're free to play the apprentice jeweler is gonna be the main thing you need to upgrade your gems Because you're able to craft like I said if you do have enough uh, Far runes you're able to craft you a, a channel legendary crest to run for elder risk to get you know gems for upgrades but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to look at all these gems here now these are free to play gems you're gonna want to look and i'm gonna be making a video explaining all of these gems what's the best gem to use per class etc so but you're gonna want to be looking at these gems and say for followers burden for example if you're playing necromancy you are gonna want to use followers burden in my opinion it increases all the damage you deal for each summon you control but the runes you get per run at the elder rift uh, using your rare crest you get these runes from here and these runes here are used actually to craft these gems Okay, so if you're a free to play player, you may want to go with uh, a one star For example, or you're gonna want to go with a two star whatever gem you find that's best for your class So you craft the two star now you have the two star you put the two star onto your gear after that, you're able to come over here and actually upgrade. Let's use Follower's Burden, for example. If I do craft a two-star Follower's Burden, I'm able to come over here. I have to upgrade that Follower's Burden to rank three, being that I have a rank five Follower's Burden. But if, if you're starting off and you have like a rank one Follower's Burden, for example, you could actually just come over here craft some two-star gems and use that as upgrades so that's going to be where the grind's going to come from this is how you upgrade your gems first you obtain the gems then you come back you craft more of the two-star gems and just use them to upgrade the gem that you crafted to actually use so that's pretty much the the grind of the game that's the cycle hopefully you get your free legendary crest and you do get lucky and you get like a three-star four-star that you could actually use or use for upgrades uh to upgrade your two-star gem is what I recommend. If you're going free to play in the long term and you're just starting out, you may want to stick with the one or two-star gems and just use your better gems to upgrade your one or two stars. So that's the the best best path if you're free to play to upgrade your gems. Because this is the dilemma I'm currently facing at the moment. I have a Zwinston's Haunting, but it's three stars, so it's harder to upgrade than say a a two star gem or a one star gem. So so I hope y'all found this video useful. If y'all did, please subscribe for more. It really helps me out a ton, and please like the video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love to y'all.